Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, another episode here on my Belize vacation trip. In this episode, I'll be continuing from the previous where I get onto the ferry. If you haven't seen that, uh, I'll try to put a, some show cards or uh, put a link in the description. Anyways, uh, I'll, t I'll, I'll um, start where I left off, which is I was continuing on to the ferry ride. And I'll have uh, some videos and then a lot of stills with some voiceovers until I reach my final destination, which is Grand Carib in Belize. Or how I like to call it, Grand Carabe. <laughs> a joke. Anyways, let's continue. So in the next uh, video that's coming up here, if you ever wanted to know what it sounds like to be on a water taxi in the Caribbean island headed toward uh, San Pedro, I got a video for you. On the way to uh, San Pedro, I saw these barges, and uh, I think that's how a lot of goods, especially construction goods, heavy materials, uh, vehicles, are basically transported to uh, San Pedro Island or San Pedro or whatever islands there are along uh, uh, the coastal areas of Belize. And that's probably how they transport a lot of uh, the materials, I would assume waste, like garbage and other stuff that they don't want on the island, back to the mainland for proper disposal. So I saw some of this, and this is kind of what it looks like. This is the view inside the water taxi. As you can see, a lot of people are already asleep or dozing off. This is probably very common for them. If you do go on to a boat, if you're not used to the ocean, or you're highly susceptible to motion sickness, I highly recommend you take those motion sickness pills. Uh, I I did, and I gave some to my family members. We bought them at the at the harbor. They had them for sale. They were like overpriced, but it's better than feeling sick and throwing up. Trust me, because I made the mistake of uh, going snorkeling, and we had to take the boat to go snorkeling. And I didn't take any motion sickness pills. Well, in, in a future episode here, or in another video, I, I basically fed the sharks. And uh, boy, did they enjoy my, my Belizean breakfast. When we left the harbor, we left with two boats. One, there's two lines, one going to San Pedro and one to, going to uh, Key Cocker. So... I'm not sure, maybe that's how they do things because uh, you you can island hop by taking these water taxis. Although the boat I was on also stopped at Key Cocker, but then it continued on to San Pedro. And then as they stopped, they also picked up some passengers. And I'm assuming there's just a, a, a boat that goes to Key Cocker and then back into the mainland. And then there's the boat I was on that makes a stop at different island at Key Cocker and then goes on to San Pedro. Probably goes back to Key Cocker from San Pedro. So, you, you know, there's routes that you can uh, do some island hopping. So we're very close to San Pedro, but not quite. This is uh, Key Cocker. Or, I don't, know, I don't know, there's just different islands. I'm not too familiar, but I think this is a smaller island. And you can definitely go there and check it out. Or even, who knows, maybe you have a, a place to stay there. You can do that and vacation there as well. Um, I, I guess it didn't matter for me, but it, the, the boat does stop there and it, we picked up some passengers in the next uh, video. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about here. So uh, this is a video that I have that I'm going to present to you and uh, we did stop at an island and we picked up some passengers and I thought this was of interest. This uh, passenger was selling dried bananas, and uh, you'll see in the video, so watch for this. Oh. 
All right, we finally made it to uh, San Pedro, and this is the dock for the uh, water taxi, Express Water Taxi, or Belize Express, I think it's called, or something like that. And uh, it's a building on the left side, the pink one. That's basically the dock for the water taxi. As you see, we'll be getting off here shortly. And I'll be meeting my contact, uh, the person who's supposed to pick me up from, from uh, Grand Carib Resort. So this is Easy. Yes, <laughs> Easy. That's his name. It's spelled a little bit different than, you know, uh, the rap group, uh, Easy E. Uh, it's spelled like Y I Z I or something or something like that. Something Spanish kind of. But uh, he is from Grand Carib. I notified Grand Carib earlier, a uh, day before, that we will be arriving on the water. Um, express taxi and uh i told them which company we're taking which ferry company we're taking so they have their different docks and we'll be arriving around three o'clock and so there he is waiting for us and when you get to the dock and you depart uh, or you when you arrive i should say this is the area where you claim your luggage it's very small and they do have like carts. They're I'm not sure if they're as big as the one on mainland, or if they were smaller, but they are carts, and they roll them over. They pile it up on the cart, and they roll it over here, and you give them your ticket, and they match it up, and everything. They give it to you, and then you're off. So we're being shuttled to Grand Carib, and Easy is gonna kind of explain to us where we are and uh, some interesting things uh, about uh, the island and Belize. So enjoy the video. And if you also wanted to know uh, what it's like in San Pedro, uh, this kind of gives you an idea. And I'm glad we didn't, you know, stay at a place that's in San Pedro versus outside of San Pedro, where I think it was a little bit more uh, excluded where we could have more privacy and not deal with this kind of, you know, crowd, uh, because that's one of the reasons why I tried to uh, uh, go on this vacation is to get away from crowds myself and just be in a in a restful, peaceful area. So where where exactly are we now? Okay, well, this is the heart of town. Okay. Uh, this is um, like the. Town Square in New York City. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're in Manhattan, right? <laughs> yeah, these are Times Square. Okay. Uh, the island's name is Ambergris Key. Okay. And the town is San Pedro. San Pedro, okay. Taxis like this is seventeen fifty US one way. One thing you don't want to miss is to go snorkeling at the Marine Colchan Marine Preserve. Oh, okay. Is and, that the reef? And Shark and Reality. Close to the reef. Oh, close to the reef, okay. All right, we'll try to catch that. Yeah, that's a specific place where you can swim with the sharks. Swim with them, the sharks. Actually, hug them and swim with the sharks. Now, this is interesting. Uh, there, is, there is one toll bridge on this island, and basically, the island is separated by this canal that goes that basically cuts the uh, island in half for the most part. So technically, I would say there's, it's a two islands, but I guess not really. But there's this canal that separates the one side of the island on, from this side of the island. And someone built a very small little bridge, and it's a toll bridge. And apparently, um, I think it's $5, either Belizean dollars or U.S. dollars to pass. So we didn't travel into town too much because, you know, first of all, I didn't really want to be in town. I want to get away from crowds. 
But if you had to travel into town, if you're outside of this area, you had to pay a toll to come in and probably pay another toll to get out. So uh, just something you should be aware of if you travel to this island. So this is the local toll road here? Yeah, right. It's a little hot on the side there. These are the guys in charge. But we have an agreement. At the end of the day we pay, we don't pay every run. I see. Just jot it down. Jot it down and when they come back. Okay. I mean, <laughs> so they uh, at the end of the day we check how I many see. runs and yeah. So they built this? I guess somebody built it and is charging a toll for it. Yeah. Well, Do they charge for they, walking they, over too? No, no, no. Golfers and vehicles like this. Okay, but you can walk over. Oh yeah, absolutely. Otherwise, what do you have to do? You have to go all the way around? Is there another way? No, no, no. This is the only way? Just one and <laughs> That's pretty good business. Yeah. Especially if you're on the island, you know, That's if you right. own this little bridge. Right. I'm surprised somebody hasn't built another bridge. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> Once I met two Australian guys. They were walking on the street with their duffel bags. Uh huh. And I, when I saw them, I, I thought they, that they came to dive. I said, "Hey guys, need a ride to to our, to our hotel?" Say, "Okay, sure, we'll take the ride." I took them to the resort and I asked them, "Hey, what brought you guys here?" So, well, we heard about your reef. Yeah. So, um, but I told them, hey, you guys have the largest, the, the largest reef in the world. They said, yes, we do have, but it's dead. It's dead? It's dead. <laughs> in Australia. Australia. Oh, goodness. So, we heard about this one, and they told us it's still alive, so. So, you technically have the largest living reef. Exactly. There you go, all right. You mentioned about the restaurants in town. Okay. Excellent. You have so many of them. I'll name a few. Uh, you have Cocina Caramba, Elvis Kitchen, Wild Mangos, Blue Water Grill, Caliente. Uh, you have El Divino, um, El Fogon, and uh, Red Ginger, just to name a few. All right, we're here. Yeah, the here Grand we Caribe. Welcome, welcome to Grand Caribe. Grand Caribe. I always yeah. say Caribe for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> have fun. All right. Have fun and enjoy. All right, we finally made it to Grand Caribe or Grand Carabe. <laughs> now you get the joke, right? Well, anyways, this is the main lobby of Grand Caribe. Very beautiful, air conditioned, very nice. Uh, so this gives you an idea what to expect if you ever if you ever go there. This is the front desk. And the lady who's looking at me at the time, she will be showing us our rooms. And I forgotten her name. I didn't really get her name, but uh, she was very kind enough to uh, uh, take us to our rooms here. But that's the front desk, basically. And from the lobby of the main entrance, you could look out into the, I guess it's kind of like a courtyard. It's like shaped in a kind of like a big U facing the ocean and uh, you get some options you get if you if you do any reservations to this place they'll ask you do you want a view to the ocean or do you not want a view to the ocean and you know most of it is going to be viewed to the ocean here uh, depends on what side you're on but that kind of gives you an idea it directly looks out into uh, i think that's the main pool there's a pool in the middle, and then there's two pool. There's another pool on the left, and another pool on the right. Or Caribe. Oh, look at that. All right, there you go. There it is. There's a view of the outside. Compliments for being a guest. They even offered some rum, but uh, I don't uh, drink any alcohol. <laughs> I oh I can, just don't. Mmm, oh, refreshing. All right, here's the uh, host, I guess. 
hostess, and she's showing me the way. And this is uh, when you leave the the main lobby, you directly go into the main pool, and that's kind of like the main pool over there. And on the right side, going out, uh, there is another kidney-sized pool. There's also one on the other side for the other buildings. So a total of three pools altogether, but that gives you an idea of what the buildings look like that kind of face the pool, face the ocean. Here she's showing us the uh, pool bar. And uh, if you're on the main pool area where right next to that bar, you could still be in the pool and just swim right to the bar while you're still in the pool, order your drinks, order your food, whatever. Uh, they do have uh, menus for for food and they'll deliver to you at the patio or wherever you're staying around the pool. Or you could probably eat right there at the bar while on the other side of that bar that's connected to the pool. So they had some cornhole or pogs. I'm not sure what it's called, but I don't play that. Uh, they have something like a Jenga, uh, like a larger size Jenga. So they had some areas where you could play with these recreational things. I didn't do any of that. If I wanted to do that, I would have stayed in Houston. But they do have them if you are interested. So as we turn around the, the main pool, this is what I was talking about. This is facing the main lobby, which you see straight ahead. And on the right side is the left wing or the other side. And it kind of makes a big, the whole resort kind of has a big U shape to it. So there's the bar you see on the left. And you can see how it's level with the pool. And uh, you can see that they have a little connecting walkway from one side to the other side, plus this pool in the middle. It's all big one pool area, but they kind of made it look like it's like multi kind of pool. So that gives you some idea. They have these hammocks all over the places. Uh, they have one on each side next to the pool, so you can just lay there. They have one kind of at the beach. Uh, the, the shore is very, the beach area is very small. It's not like, how can I say this? Uh, if you're in Houston, you in Galveston, it's not like you walk for like, you know, a couple minutes, then you get to the ocean. Or if you're in San Diego or Long Beach or Venice Beach, wherever, it's not like, you know, you you walk like 50 yards and then you'll get to the ocean. It's not like that at all. It's actually very close to the ocean um, because of the reef. It, you don't get a lot of waves. But uh, they, they had a hammock actually in the water. So they have these hammocks all over the place. I did have a chance to lay down in it and relax a little bit. So just uh, just a lazy a lazy winter day in Belize. So we're finally at our room. It's actually a kind of like a condo style. So uh, here we are, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what's inside. So here's the main hallway, and everything's already furnished. Air conditioned on. Uh, the door is beautiful. They got the arch doors. Uh, Half circle doors, those aren't cheap. You know, you could tell this is very high end. The plaster on the inside, uh, tiles on the floor. Uh, again, everything's already furnished. And it's not like a cheap uh, little hotel. Uh, this is actually a, basically a condo for the most part. And it came with a full kitchen. A full kitchen. Uh, the refrigerator. Uh, the freezer had ice in it, so they already had the ice rolling in there. Uh, we did order some water. Uh, before we arrived, uh, Grand Caribe emailed us like a little store we could shop that works with them. And I had some, I bought like a case of water, bottled water, and that was already in the refrigerator. Uh, I'll show you a little bit afterwards here, but uh, full kitchen, plates, knives, 
uh, salt and pepper, I think, even some coffee and whatever, uh, every, everything, dishwasher. It, it was amazing. And here's the best part. They had room service or they had maid services included. So, we, you know, you could just make all of the food you want and you didn't have to worry about the dishes because they came every day to do maid service. This was the dining area, and again, all, all furnished. It overlooks the Caribbean Sea and the pool, so it overlooks that area. And you can see it's, it's just like a well, you know, condo. It's, it's a well-designed and furnished condo for the most part. The master bedroom. Again, a window that overlooks the ocean and the pools and the courtyard. So that's the room I stayed in. Uh, we did have another bedroom, which had a queen-size bed and a little single bed. That's basically where my mom and my oldest stayed. Uh, my youngest saw this room. And she declared that this was her room. So she actually ended up sleeping with me all that time. Uh, I tried to tell her it's not her room, that she's going to be sleeping with grandma. Uh, she cried. She cried and whined about it. Uh, eventually, she just snuck into my room and started sleeping there. So the master bath, uh, the master bed, uh, bathroom also came with a bath, a jacuzzi-style bath. So it, it literally felt, it was pretty much a condo-style resort. Uh, it also had a walk-in shower, but, you know, I didn't want to show you that, you know, but but the fact that it had a, a jacuzzi bathtub was very impressive. So here's the, uh, here's the food that we ordered. Uh, Grand Caribe emailed us, uh, I think it was called Beach Basket, a site. Uh, it's actually a store not too far from the the resort itself, so you don't have to order online. But uh, I was still in Houston, and I ordered all this food. So we, when we came in, we could have something to eat, and this is what we got, milk, uh, some, some chips and cookies, popcorn. Uh, I should have bought some, like, juice, like, Fruit juices, that would have been helpful. Um, the only thing I didn't get was fresh fruit, and apparently they didn't have any, even though it was on their website. So uh, I, I think this is good if you're, before you get to the resort, to order food. Because, uh, and, and I paid for it and everything. I had the order number. I let Grand Caribe know that this is my order number, and we kind of, expect our food to be there and this is how it came they all presented it very well uh, i also bought like 24 bottles uh, basically a case of water bottles and that was already in the fridge so it was cold so they were very very accommodating welcoming very well prepared uh, so that's another thing and uh, if you do get hungry oh yeah i think there was some bread i don't see it in here but we also had bread uh, but the beach basket is like literally like a walk, like a couple minutes, you, you walk there. It's, it's right next door to the resort. So you can just go there and just buy what you need and walk back. I think it's uh, $65 or $68. Uh, if you buy $68, that's, I think, Belizean dollars. It's free delivery. Uh, but you can have pretty much anything delivered to, uh, to your room. Okay. You have any questions? No, I think we're good. Thank okay. you. They'll bring the luggage over. All right. Enjoy Thank you. And finally, this is the view from the balcony. And the balcony had a, a nice table with seats. It kind of extended out just a little bit. And uh, it was like extended out maybe maybe another three feet uh, beyond, I guess, the edge. It kind of extended out a little bit to a curve. And it had it was it was accessible from not only from the living room, but also from the master bedroom as well as from the dining area. And so there's three ways they had three sliding doors. 
And so you could access from the master bedroom, the living room, or the dining area. And uh, man, it, when you're when you're inside, and you have this view, and then when you go outside, my my mom enjoyed it. She for some reason liked the 85 degree weather and the humidity. It was she said it was perfect for her. I was a little hot. My oldest was hot. My youngest didn't care. And uh, but she spent a lot of time out here in the balcony. Uh, just reading and getting on the internet and just relaxing. She didn't really do too much, uh, but I, I think just being out here, uh, looking at the blue ocean, the Caribbean Sea, and the reef is just right there. It's it's uh, you know you don't see a lot of waves here because the, there's the barrier reef and it's not you know you're not getting those waves coming in, and then just the the scenery is beautiful. Well, thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Belize Grand Carib. If you ever considered going there, I highly recommend it. Uh, the rates were the least expensive right after New Year's. So I got a, like, um, a little price break. For me, I think that works out perfect because uh, it was kind of rainy. Not so cold in Houston during the time, but rainy. So I didn't miss too much and i had a tremendous time a tremendously fun very relaxing time at grand carib the food was excellent uh pools are warm uh it, it was very enjoyable and very relaxing anyways thanks for watching uh please subscribe if you want to see more uh, i'll probably have some other things like the snorkeling uh, what else did I do over there? Snorkeling and some other stuff. Anyways, subscribe and uh, please uh, thumbs up, everybody. Until next time, everyone. Bye.